Hi, I'm Chef Jerry Gross here at High Ridge here in Orlando, uh, chef of Fiorenzo's Italian Kitchen. Uh, we're going to show you the scallop bagger dolce. We're going to do a scallop bagger dolce. Uh, first, you're going to start with uh, whatever peppers you feel comfortable with, the more heat, the better for me. Because agro dolce in Italian means sour and sweet. So you always want a little bit of the heat to counteract those three, those three um, flavors as well. Um, and here we have Fresno chilies, jalapenos, and Cipollini onions. In the back here we have our pickling liquid. It's going to be uh, whole mustard seeds, bay leaves, fresh black peppercorns, sugar, salt, vinegar, and water. We're going to heat that up to a boil, let it come down to a simmer, and then we're just going to pour it over the top. Now cover this tightly and then refrigerate it for 24 to 48 hours depending on the time frame of what you're cooking. Um, after about 24 hours, this is the end product. You'll see that they got a little, little uh, firmer, or they lost their firmness, they're a little bit softer, and all those layers are just completely melted together. All right, next we're gonna do the scallops. Um, these are U8 scallops, which means there's eight per pound. Uh, these are about as large as you can get. Uh, these are the muscle, the abductor muscle that connects it to the the shell, if you don't take these off, it's going to tend to be a little bit tough. So you want to make sure you remove all those off the scallops. As you see, they're rectangular in shape. They stick out easy to see. They bury them off very easily. Now when you're doing your scallops, you want to, uh, you want to use vegetable oil. You want to use olive oil because olive oil has a higher smoking point. So it's going to smoke at a lot higher, uh, lower temperature. But this is what you're looking for. This is your scallop problem. You want to get the pan to smoke it slightly. Gonna add a little bit of salt to your scallops. I don't use black pepper on my scallops or white fish just because it makes it look dirty at the end of the day. If you uh, have the enough spicy peppers in the agriculture, you won't need pepper on the actual scallop. That'll be the flavor that you're looking for. Just gonna sear these until they're golden brown on one side. It takes about a minute and a half usually. And then we'll flip them for another minute. And they should be perfectly mid rare on the inside. This is the perfect country to serve scallops. One of the one tip is do not move your whatever you're sauteing your seafood. Leave it in the pan until you're gonna flip it. You're not gonna touch it, don't shake the pan. It, it uh, ruins the browning procedure that's gonna be on the outside. And you can always tell when the scallop is fresh. If it doesn't brown, golden brown on both sides, then it's they're a little bit on the older side. If they turn golden brown. Uh, almost immediately you'll see a golden brown on the side like if you see on these, these are fresh. Right, once they're golden, you just want to flip them. Gonna go about another minute on this side. Once the scallops are perfectly seared on both sides, just want to remove them from the pan. Dry them on a paper towel just to get some of the moisture out of them. So when you put them on the plate, the oil doesn't run all over the plate. Uh, while we're letting them rest, we're going to make the salad. I have a little bit of frise here, which you want to keep it, after you cut it, you want to keep it in ice water. It keeps it nice and, nice and crisp. Remove some of that. We have some pea shoots and pea tendrils here. A little bit of oven roasted tomato. And some tangerine suppress. Do a little bit of basil oil, salt. And this is this is going to be our base for our scallops. It's, going to, it's a nice light summer dish. After your scallops are dry. Place these around the scallop. Here's our agro dolce front that we made from earlier. Goes on top of each scallop. A little bit of the vinegar at the bottom, a little bit of the vinegar, salt, and sugar mixture that's going to go on top of it. That's the sauce aspect of the dish. Some chopped sherbet and milk. And for texture, a little fried shallot. Scalabagger, Dolphin, Christian, Fiorenzo, Hybrid, Sierra Lake.